Hello everyone. Uh, the Academy V5 just dropped, so I'm going to make this quick video just to show you what changed and what to expect from this update. So first of all, this update uh, took uh, two and a half months, a lot of time, and we focus uh, on the parts of Tex Admin that control the player. So let's start by showing the player's page. As you can see, we remove everything related to whitelist from this page. We used to have a box up here where you could uh, allow or not someone in the whitelist. And also whitelist use it to show here on the actions part of the page. This does not happen anymore. Now text uh, sorry, now the whitelist is a separate window and a totally separate process. So let's show uh, what it looks like when someone tries to join your server without being whitelisted. Immediately you will see that uh, our our message changed a little bit. Now we have like the logo and we have this very very nice uh, custom message. So where can you change that? You can change that custom message in the settings page, go into player management, and then you will have the option to change that. This is very cool for servers that have some kind of whitelisting process. And also we added that for a uh, ban. So if the players banned, when they try to join, you can have a custom message. So if if your server has also like some custom uh, custom user flow to for the players to be able to uh, appeal their ban, this is also really cool. So now uh, you see that when someone tries to join your server, if your server has whitelist enabled, of course. It will first show here in the whitelist requests page. So uh, here you will see uh, the name of the player, the request ID if you want to uh, check by the by the ID instead of the name, and then you will have options to accept and deny. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, here you can search by the player name or the Discord if it has like the Discord. Uh, Connected, and this is not a perfect search. That's a new thing that we added to Text Admin. That is called a fuzzy search. A fuzzy search means that you can search for something that's not perfect. So I can search for, for instance, Tabara with only one R, and it will still find a player. So this is very important for uh, lots of people because names are sometimes quite a bit hard. Uh, so let's proceed and allow. And as you can see, my my player here uh, moved from the request to the approved, and it, the player will stay here until he tries to join the server. In this case, let's just uh, go to the player database and ban me for a second, just just to test something. Okay. And now when I try to join. I will have the new ban message, I, and again, you can customize this message down below, okay? But, the player is still here uh, pending uh, join because he has not joined it yet. So, let's then talk about uh, something that people asked for so, so long and we finally managed to do which is uh, being able to show more options in the player's card, both here in the interface, uh, the web interface and in-game. So when I open my player card, you can see that we added a few information here and we also add, added those, those two buttons. Uh, uh, first, the whitelist status, so we can see if the player is whitelisted or not. In this case, it is showing that it's uh, I am not whitelisted yet because I have not joined the server yet. And also, it will see that I have two bands and zero warnings. When we click in the details, now we can have uh, a view of everything related to uh, the player history, including a button to unban the player. So if you revoke the ban action, that's the same thing as unbanning the player. So let's do that, and then go back to the server, uh, to the game, and try to join. And there we go. Now uh, I am joining the game. 
And we, if we go back here to the whitelist, it's not here anymore because after the player joins, it will be saved to the player, uh, to the player entity in the database that this player is actually whitelisted. And when I click here, I can see the player is whitelisted. And of course, I can just click a single button to to remove the whitelist. All right, uh, what else? Uh, we changed a lot, of, a lot of stuff regarding the database. The database is now optimized and we save uh, players' uh, identifiers for long. After the player leaves the server, it will still be stored in the database. So uh, in this case, uh, for uh, an offline player like me, it will show all my old identifiers. All right? And another thing that uh, we changed in this version is we heavily optimized text admin for top servers. Now there are servers with, uh, I don't know, uh, 1500 players online at, simultaneously at the same time. And text admin didn't use it to handle that very well. And now uh, you can expect text admin to be, to be very optimized even for the top servers. All right, that's mostly it. Uh, we changed uh, a lot of things in these two and a half months. Uh, you can expect more uh, in the announcement that comes with this with this video. But uh, all right, uh, I hope you enjoy and see you next time.